we are going to discuss about inductor. Clear? So, we will inductor. So, basically, inductor is the side which the representation of inductor is this one. Clear? So, inductor is the one that we are passing current through the inductor. Correct? Inductor is the one that we are passing current through the inductor. It will produce flux. Simple as one more thing. That is flux linkage of this flow, right? The flux linkage of every representation of the flow, psi is equal to L into I. Clear? Next, in the inductor, we are induced under voltage, that is V. Other of every representation of the flow, that is D psi by DT. So, what is the conclusion? For psi equal to the flow, L into I subsequently, you will get L into DI by DT. So, inductor under the voltage, V is equal to L into DI by DT. That is the relation between voltage and the current in case of inductor. Right? Fine. Now, voltage and current are the relation between the two. That is what we calculate. Power is calculate. Inductor is the real power of the power. Reactive power of the power. It will observe reactive power. Obviously, that is correct. For reactive power, the general formula is Q is equal to V I into what? What is the sin pi? Okay? Okay, fine. For inductor, what is the power of the power? First, the phase difference between voltage and current in case of inductor. Just, if you want to observe it, you will be able to see it. So, generally, in inductor, the phase difference between voltage and current is 90 degree. That means, what is the current? Current is always voltage and 90 degree lag. Right? That is in case of inductor. Clear? Now, what is the phase difference between them? 90. So, the value of 5 is 90. So, in case of inductor, the sign 90 is 1. One, right? So that is going to be what? V into I. That is the formula to obtain reactive power. Right? So by here again, now what is the <coughs> weak value that you get? In substitute, you get L into DI by DT into I. So that is the formula to obtain the power of the inductor. Clear? Similarly, next time I can calculate for no energy. Calculate for no. Inductor the energy to calculate for no work done. R energy is equal to integral of power into dt clear various integral of what about the power power is l into di by dt into i into dt clear dt dt getting cancelled out i and di are both the integral of i now i square by 2 now correct then so that is become i square by 2 so what is the conclusion energy stored in the inductor that is become of l i square most important formula so, inductor the store of the energy is of L i square. Don't forget. And one more thing is, what we saw, for inductor on the number AC to connect one of the three, DC to connect one of the three, and the store of the energy on the number N to define one of the number of L i square. Don't forget this term. That is very, very important. For inductor on the number, if you see the relation, see, what is the relation between what is the current? V is equal to L into DI by DT. This relation is valid. And the relation is the inductor on the number, that is always linear relation. Clear? So, current on the end of the time of the variable though, on the time of the end of the variable, you can find the drop or voltage in our home, inductor will induce to our home, right? So, AC of the variable, now we know that while calculating the value of inductance, we have to consider inductive reactance. Remember, you know, we have to consider the value of AC, DC. So, now our inductor, AC analysis is used for inductor, AC signal will actually inductor drive for the variable, so you have to consider inductive reactance. If you want to use the inductance of DC, we will try to use the inductance of DC. Why? We will try to use the inductance of DC. First, we will fix the value of DC. While doing DC analysis, we will just consider the value of L. Clear? Whereas, while doing AC analysis, we have to consider the inductive reactance. Right? So, that is all about the basic fundamental properties of inductor. That's why we will say that the inductor never consumes real power, it will only consume reactive power, right? And next thing is, in the reactive power consumption, AC is possible or DC is possible, we are getting now. If our circuit is on DC, we will drive on the road. And the inductor is actually on the road. Like I said, DC is supply for inductor connect on the road. Inductor is short circuit, obviously. Inductor is short circuit. Then reactive power consumption is on the road. Clear? So, that's why AC is on the road. Sorry, DC is on the road. Usually, we are keeping resistor. So, if you connect the inductor to DC, you can see the DC transient analysis of the topic. So, thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.